So in this video, I'm going to explain what is Kiverno and how we can implement Kiverno on Kubernetes cluster. So Kiverno is a policy engine. So by using Kiverno, we can enhance our Kubernetes cluster security. To install Kiverno, so you can come to kiverno.io docs installation method. So uh, here you can use Helm chart uh, or you can use a traditional YAML file. Both is available over here. Okay. So you can use either one. So what I'm going to do here. So first I'll create a Kubernetes cluster. So then I will install Kiverno on a specific namespace called Kiverno. So once I completed, then I'll create a specific policy. So first let me go to my Kubernetes cluster. This is the cluster which I have already implemented. And uh, this is running on Minikube. So if you don't have a Minikube, you can use EKS, uh, GK or Azure Kubernetes service, or you can use Kai, K3S. So whatever you have, okay. So we just want a Kubernetes cluster. So I already created a namespace called Kiverno. Uh, you can see that I have a Kiverno namespace. So as of now, you can see that under Kiverno namespace, I don't have any resources, right? So let me show you how we can install this first. So first we have to uh, add our Helm repository. Then I will update my Helm repository. Then I will install my controller, then the Kiverno policies. This is the CRD, okay? Let me just uh, copy this. Okay, now this is completed. Now we successfully installed. Now let's go to my Kubernetes cluster. Uh, and here you can see that 26 seconds back, this is created, right? Now let's try to implement the policies. Let me go to my Visual Studio. So here you can see that I have already created a directory called Kiverno. Under this Kiverno, I have a config map, uh, common.env.yml, nginx pod, I have a readme.md, uh, resource limit and dusty cross pod, right? So these all I created for a demo. So today I'll show you three demo. So the first one, I'll show you restrict host pod. So first I'm going to apply my Nginx port. Sorry, I'm going to apply my this policy on top of Kubernetes. Okay, now this is created. Uh, let me go to my Kubernetes cluster. So we can go to the Helm deployment. Under Helm deployment, you can see the de definition. So here you can see that cluster policy. Okay, uh, here you can see that this allow host ports, right? This allow host port. So this is the one we created uh, just 21 second back. Now let me try to apply my Nginx deployment and let's see whether it is deploying or not. So I'll deploy into my default namespace. Let's go to my Visual Studio again. Execute kubectl, apply minus F and your Nginx deployment, enter. Okay, as of now this is created. Uh, if I go to my default namespace, you can see one uh, pod is running over there. See, Nginx pod is running, right? 34 seconds back this is created. Let me back to my Visual Studio again. I'll go to Nginx port. So as of now, the host port is zero. So as per our policy, if it is a zero, then it will work. Okay, if it is a non-zero, then it won't work. Let me put a port number 3400. Okay, now let me try to apply this. You can see that we are getting error. This allow host port, uh, autogen host port none, validation error. So validation error, that's what we are not able to uh, satisfy that particular policy and this is throwing error now. Next I'm going to explain so how we can add a resource and request limit. So this uh, by default we won't specify we might be forget to do that. So if you're not specifying that maybe if that port having any memory leakage or CPU leakage so that is going to consume all your memory and CPU and whatever whatever the other application is working on that cluster so that's going to impact. So if we want to create a default uh, request and limit uh, we can do that. Uh, by using uh, Kiverno policies. So let me show you how we can do that. So uh, I already created a policy resource li resource limit. So this policy will help you to do that. See these all are annotations. Uh, we can uh, just skip this. Uh, if you come down here you can see that uh, while we creating any port or update port what it will do it will add uh, 100 MI memory and 100 uh, mil uh, millicore CPU. First, what I'm going to try before applying this policy, I will apply my Nginx container. Then I'll check whether I have any resource request and limit. Okay, so let me do that. So let's try request kubectl uh, apply Nginx port.yaml. Uh, this is created. Uh, let's go to my ports. So this is the port. So here you can see that I don't have any resource request and limit. See, this is empty now, right? Resources empty. So I didn't specify any. Uh, limited memory or CPU anything. So now let me show you how we can uh, add this memory and memory limit and CPU limit uh, default when, when the container is creating automatically. 
so for that we can uh, take a leverage of this Kiverno policy let me apply this policy first cube CTL apply minus uh, F then resource limit dot yammer ended okay now let me try to uh, delete the pod and create so cube CTL delete engine export cube CTL apply minus F engine export again it's created let me go to my cluster uh, go to ports and this is created six seconds back let me open one of the port uh, let me search for the resource okay we have a four resources second one third one so now you can see that under resources we have a request CPU 100 memory CPU 100 okay this is 100 millicore this is 100 MAB okay so this is we successfully added and automatically it's added right uh, automatically added as per the configuration we gave over here next uh, we are going to discuss about suppose consider you have a 10 containers and 10 containers is using same environment variable okay what this policy will do so whenever any pod is creating so that automatically add this config map with that particular pod if you're trying to create an nginx pod so this policy will add this config map this namespace env wars so this is the config map namespace env wars so this will attach with the, this particular pod whatever the pod you are creating uh, you can see that config map ns env wars so let me show you that first let me go to my cluster uh, this is the cluster i will open one of the pod see as of now you can see that this pod doesn't have any env variables right no env variables so first let me apply the policy to apply the policy we can execute cube ctl apply minus f then common env dot yaml let's go to my cluster and definition under cluster policy so here you can see that we have a one more policy created add env wars uh, from a common config okay this is also audit now let me try to delete my pod and recreate i have deleted i have recreated again let's go to ports okay this is four second back this is created let's open the port and now you can see that environment key one value one key two value two okay now this port is using this particular env variable environment variable thank you so much for watching this video bye